So yeah, we're going to be playing Space Crew today. Um, one of the uh, cool things about Space Crew is obviously it's a sequel to Bomber Crew. We had a lot of fun with Bomber Crew, you know, flying around the Lancaster and also doing a few of the other things. Obviously, we're going to get the community involved. So if you guys want uh, to be in, um, you know, we'll do what we did last time and just get everybody's names together and then go from there. Uh, there is a way to port in your old Bomber Crew from... Uh, bomber crew into space crew, but I don't think we'll do that. We'll just um, start off uh, with this. Are we going to do War Thunder later? I'm not sure yet. It depends how much I get into this game. Um, but basically, yeah, um, we're going to be part of the space crew. We're going to be going forward and having a bit of fun. And uh, one thing I will mention is I was given this key um, by the creators of Space Crew um, because of our escapades in Bomber Crew, I believe. So uh, this game out came out yesterday. Um, and also it is available on Steam and other platforms. Uh, so if you want to check it out, make sure to do so. Um, it is a very cool uh, series and I'm very happy to support it. So let's get into it. We'll do a new game. I've given it a go, as you can see, just to see what it's like. Uh, so let's get started into another one, just to make sure everything's good. If the volume is not good, let me know so I can fix it and all of that good stuff. And uh, it looks like we're starting off in Athena in the low Earth orbit. So it looks like the comms array has a malfunction, so we're going to have to try and deal with it. And the reason I'm so small is because of this, <laughs> as you can see. So let's just launch. Let's get in the air. Hey, Blister, how you doing, man? Going to be flying around today. There we go. And we obviously have the zoom. Why does Fidel Castro on the ship? Oh no! No! We're gonna be spreading communism by engineering. This is not good. Oh, okay. Rotate. There we go. Nice. So it's pretty similar controls. So we have to start with Pan, Parson, Castro, G. We've also got G! Shin, and then Martin. And Martin seems to be the odd one out. We can accelerate time just to be a little bit quicker. Will you name the crew after anybody? Yes, we will. We'll be naming them after viewers. So what I'll say is uh, when, um, when we're ready to go, like when I actually get to the customization point, I'll ask you guys to like type in the chat and um, put like if you want to be in the crew then I'll make a list and then yeah that's how we're gonna do it so we have some hyper jumping we're gonna have people from the chat manning the crew just like we did in bomber crew it's gonna be a pretty fun time why am I so small um, basically to fit the actual screen I don't want to block anything that's why I'm tiny Now this is just the tutorial, so we're just getting it ready. Castro on the guns? Oh god. Is she on the guns too? Where have I seen this before? Right, there we go. So it's down to our gunners to deal with them. We have like a shield function now. Which obviously we didn't have on the Lancaster. So we can see how hurt certain parts are, which is really nice. We've got some what look like Gatling guns on the side, and then double hits front and back. Go on, G. <laughs> Screw him up. Uh, how you doing, Wolf? How's life? Yeah, I think this setup on the screen works well. Um, if you guys want the camera bigger or something, I can give it a go. But I don't know how it's gonna gonna fit. Come on, Martin. Fuck them up. Well done, Martin. Alright, so we need to repair the probe. 
Right, let's get G. Oh no, I'm in the training thing, so I can't move anything, which kind of sucks. Right, let's see how let's see how repairing goes. How do you do this? Martin looks very very worried. G looks cool as a cucumber. He knows what's up. If I'm a crew and I die, I will never forgive you. Oh no. <laughs> What am I gonna do? You could probably make it a wee bit bigger in the same spot. Yeah, I probably could. We could give that a go. The problem is the, uh... The alert box as well. Oh, wait. Let's... So, Castro, retrieve. There we go. Maybe I could do this. Yada. Then just turn off the event list. That looks good, right? There we go. Then we have to repair it. Go on, Castro. Get on. Get running. This might be Castro's daughter, it seems. The size of the uh, face cam, you look like a crew card. <laughs> All right, well done, Castro. Shin is sus. Shin is quite sus. Look at that beard. Also looks like he's got vampire teeth, which is a bit worrying. So we fixed the module. So hopefully that means the communication array is okay. And we go back to the jump gate. <clears throat> Let's just speed it up quickly, because it is the tutorial. No, no dog legs today, unfortunately. Maybe one day. Alright, let's go. So, pretty simple mission. Just getting it done there. Hey, Phantom, how you doing, man? Eject somebody? <laughs> no. No, that would be terrible. We can't do that. Bad. This looks cool? Yeah. Bomber crew and space crew are pretty cool. You can check it out on Steam now. It should be available. And if you already have bomber crew, you get 10% off. Let's see how this goes. There we go. So we just have the mess hall here, which seems to be the normal screen. Yeah. Oh, you can get a glimpse of the coming and goings of life on Athena in the mess hall. Events taking place during the war against the Phasmids are also broadcasted on the television. Uh oh. So we're going to be involved in some wars, it looks like. So this is the mission briefing rooms. This is where we find our things to do. Seems pretty simple, really. Um, so at least for me, it's about $20 US, uh, sorry, $20 Canadian, so it's probably like 18 15 US, something like that. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's head to Mars. Seems like the enemy are attacking us, so let's get started. Seems like there's way more, uh, there's way more mechanics in this one that I'm going to have to manage. So, ship's reactor. Engineer. This is your reactor, shields and weapons, engines, gravity generator. While charging for hyperjump, four units of power will be diverted and locked to the engine. Okay. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. So basically, don't jump unless you want to get killed. At least for now, because we don't have enough energy to do anything. Is the audio okay? Or do I need to pump, like, one up? Or is everything fine? Select your engineer. Gravity. Oh, there's gravity? Ooh, that's cool. 
put it in weapons. Energy weapons require power in order to operate. More effective with more power. Non-energy weapons, e.g. orts cannons, do not require any power. Okay. So it's a security. I don't like the fact that Yin, that G is our security, man. This might be not a great idea. What? <laughs> uh, God, the, okay, so without gravity, they move incredibly slow. Right, well, G, you're going back. Castro. Let's go here. Do we want weapons or shields to be more effective? Not entirely sure. Oh my god, they're coming in quickly. Uh, everything should be fine though. It should be Gucci. Doing the tasks. See anybody vented? <laughs> Not yet. We'll have to see. Audio seems good. Good stuff. So our front shields are low. That should be okay. Looks like Martin on the back has got a lot of work to do. Come on, Martin. Screw them up. Hit them hard. Well done, Martin. And then G. Oh, G's got one. Oh, I also... Oh, I can only set to patrol. That kind of sucks. Oh, come on. Hit the last guy. Take him out. Nice. That's some good hits. Can we hit him? Oh, good hits. Good hits. He's going to hit the crossfire. Nice. There we go. So let's go to Mars. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try and give Martin and G a bit more, a bit more juice. And of course, Castro is in charge of the stuff, which is worrying. I don't really want Fidel um, in charge of anything, if I'm honest with you. Name the crew. We're going to when we get to the stage where we can. Right now, we're still in the tutorial stage. So we just have to get it through. All right, enemies incoming. So Castro to the gun. So we just have to clear enemies here. She's aim accuracy, 30%. Oh. So our weapon effectiveness is pretty good. We're not even moving. Pan, what are you doing? Alright. Let's see what Castro can do. Castro screwed one up. Nice. Oh, come on, kill that one, kill that one. Oh, it's so close. Oh, I think we're gonna take some damage here. Unless Martin can actually hit something. There we go, well done, Martin. Come on, kill the other one. Well done, Martin. I know the shields are low. Don't worry, I'm watching. Whoa, there's more of them. God, we really need to increase our, uh, we really need to increase our thingamadoodah, our uh, navigator. Our navigator is really bad right now. Oh, we're at destination. Oh, well, that's lovely. Right. Oh, what are those things? They're huge. Oh, come on, Martin. Take him out. Oh, God. Nice. This is all you, Martin. Well done, Martin. Looks like we're going to Mars. Right. Let's get Castro on the uh, on the stuff. She back to position. So let's just push this to shields just to make them raise quicker. I think I just want to put more power into shields. I don't need more turrets. I need more crew. Crew seems to be the issue right now. What do you mean locked for training? No, get back in, silly Billy. Right, let's charge in. Engage. Are the different ships or just this one? I don't know yet. 
I haven't played enough of the game. Tag the hyperspace point to the Nets area. Okay. There we go. Explain a little about your captain's piloting modes. Captain. You can select pilot mode. Okay. Currently, Jim K waypoint has been tagged. You can see that waypoint locked is highlighted. Let's try cancelling it. Okay, how do I do that? Oh, okay. So that's a way to stop them going to the objective. Makes sense. Engage. Hey, cool ball. How you doing, man? All right, let's get back in the base. It seems like landing isn't an issue, or at least I hope it's not an issue. It seems to be uh, seems to be a lot easier to control. All right, let's see what we get out of this one. Oh, oh, there we go. So attack, plots a course towards the enemy fighters for more direct confrontation. Defense, plots a course that keeps the ship's stronger shields facing the enemy, that's useful. Temporarily gives a small boost to the po power output of the reactor, that's nice. Quickly restores shields and heightens the thing, okay. Oh, there we go, we got ourselves some goodies. Oh, so we can do crew gear now. Here you can customize the crew, different properties. Okay, well, what we did before is we just made everybody, like, a chunk. Should we just give everyone the preset? I think we give everyone the preset. We... <laughs> uh, which one do we go for? So let's get you a hat. I think this one looks nice. We should go for this. And then a hat. Let's give everyone a hat. A holster. We don't have any gloves. Everybody needs gloves. Boots. Got the boots. There we go. So this is our... I think this is our set. Okay, so... What we're going to do here is like we did last time. So if you want to be part of the crew right now type one in the chat and we'll do it first come first served and then whoever dies will be replaced by the next person so that's how we'll do it so we got yuki abigail wolf hands bilbo kiri oh, otto between them there we go we got salty wound, cobalt, hexatron, blister, <laughs> falling llama, uh, EGM, and we got banana. Right, there we go. So Yuki is going to be our pilot to start with. So he'll be called Alan or Yuki. And let's just do something random. Or you can be green. Okay, well, Yuki, you're going to be green. It's as simple as that. I wish there was a randomized option. There we go. So we have, <laughs> we have Yuki. Uh, then we have... Uh, who's this going to be? We have Abigail. So Abigail... And then let's go to, I don't know, this one, the side mouth, the green eyes, the funny hair. Oh, we've got to go green hair. There we go. So that's Abigail. <laughs> We're replacing Castro uh, <laughs> for good reason. God damn. Uh, so we've got Wilf. Oh, it's not Wilf, is it? It's Wolf. Hey, Habosin. How you doing, man? That's no, Wolf. Why do I always think that? No. 
so it's wolf. God, the eyes are crazy. Right, there we go. So wolf, then we're <laughs> we're replacing G, of course. How you doing, Lucifer? How's life? So we have hands. Hands is going to be our uh, one of our gunners. Oh, you can be balding with a killer stash. There we go. Perfecto. Oh! <laughs> then we have Shin. Uh, this is going to be Bilbo. So let's get them all in. That's a Mohican. Oh, killer stash. There we go. And we also have Otto. So Otto is our last gunner. With the big eyes. Perfecto. Right, so there we go. That is the crew that we're starting with. We have Yuki, Abigail, Wolf, Hans, Bilbo, and then also Otto. So this is the starter crew. Just remember, <laughs> the starter crew normally doesn't work <laughs> or normally doesn't last very long. So if you didn't get in the starter crew, don't worry. Um, basically, the uh, it will, I'm sure, there will be opportunities for you soon. So yeah, it is how it is. Right, so Yuki at the controls. Let's see what goes on. I'm worried. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm, I'm already worried by Yuki being a pilot. Uh, so we have equipment. Spacesuit, fire extinguishers, phase rifles, medkits. Okay. Wait, what? Wait, why is there a fire? Oh no. Wolf, it's time. Oh, you just have this button here now? Oh, that's pretty nice. So instead of having to click on stuff, that's kind of useful, actually. Right, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, Wolf, my brother. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to be the one that does this stuff. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. It's looking bad for you already, Wolf, I've got to say. Like, um, even though you're, like, the key component, if you're going to have to go on the outside... Oh, no. No more random extinguisher on the floor because of misclick? Yeah, exactly, which is nice. How you doing, Conte? How's life? What am I, a comms person? You are our nav navigator, Abigail. All right, keep the spacesuit on. Oop, never mind. So med kit. Wait, people can board the ship? Oh no, people can board the ship. Oh, wait, who's going to be our strongman? Hands. Hands, you're going to have to beat him up. Right, we're going to go the safest route since it's as our first mission. But yeah, we have... So we have Yuki as our pilot. Abigail uh, as the navigator. Wolf as the engineer. Hands as the shield slash security individual. And then we have Bilbo on the side gun and Otto on the back gun. Uh, hope is already lost. We will see how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully we can stay around or stay alive. Oh, we have targets incoming. Right, wolf, shields. No, get the gravity off. Right, first combat for the individuals. Let's get them on the guns. Alright, let's head over to the objective while we try and look for enemies. Hopefully Abigail's skill will mean that we'll be able to see them before they hit us. That would be nice. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Bang, bang. Alright, auto. Focus fire. 100% accuracy. Let's go. Screw him up. What do you mean the shit? Oh my god. Oh. God, it's a bad start. 
Go on, Wolf. Go and fix that. Well done, Otto. Otto screwed it up. Oh, two more, two more. Right, let's deal with them. Are we fixing the shields? We're fixing the shields. Alright, come on. Alright, let's go defense. We get a bit more evasiveness, so it'll be a little bit harder for them to hit. Oh, Otto's absolutely slapping right now. There we go. Oh, two more. Alright, Wolf, you need to get back to position. Go on. We need as many gunners on as possible. I don't like these big things. They seem to wor they seem to be quite worrying. Alright, come on. Got a guy in front, got a guy at the back. They're hitting our shields, but we should be okay. Come on, take him out! Otto, how are you missing that? It's literal point blank range. What is going on? Need to work on your aim, son. At least we're going to do defense. Oh, the shields are down. So we've got no shields on the front here. So hopefully... Oh, there we go. Okay, it's recharging. Right, there we go. Right, let's charge. Let's get hands back to the position. Let's get Wolf back to the position. Engage. Thank you for the bits, Wolf. That's very kind of you, brother. If I die, please blame Commander Tech. He seems to think he's still in the old Earth War known as World War II. Oh no. Oh, we have more enemies incoming. Right, Wolf. Back to the position. Hands, let's get you on the gun. There we go. I think we're just going to run without um, gravity on. Seems to be the way to go. Right, where are they at? Oh, spotted. Right, get the guns. It's hammer time. Oh, we already taken one out. There we go. Oh my god, the gunners have turned up. Oh, three more. There we go. Alright, let's go, let's go defense to increase evasiveness a little bit. We could go towards the enemy, but I think that would be unfair. Focus fire from Otto, let's see what he can do. Like, having Bilbo on this gun kind of sucks. Um, I think I might put Bilbo where Hans is, so therefore we can actually have like a gunner at the front. Because it seems like the plasma ones do more damage. Like, having Bilbo on the side I don't think is the way to go. Oh god, more, more, more. Right, there we go. Yeah, I think I'm going to swap Bilbo and Hans. It does mean it's going to be a little bit more awkward to get to areas, but at the same time, I think it'll make it a little bit better. Right, let's see. It just means you can't shoot anybody above, though, which is a bit of a problem. Right, I think we've taken them all out. Oh, we're going to an asteroid belt? Right, let's just quickly switch you two. There we go. So we'll get Bilbo and Otto on our main guns. And then we'll have Hans here. Um, Hans is going to be our enforcer. Or at least try to be. You know what? Just before, let's just go get that. Let's just make it a little bit quicker. I don't have to worry about fuel in this one, so... That's kind of nice. Right, there we go. Right, hands, bring the gun back. There we go. Just in case anything happens, we will be able to fix this. But there we go. Right. Uh, right, let's get to the objective. Let's go. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, Jesus. The Destria? Alright, so we have enemies coming in. So let's just get our boys on the positions. We're going through an asteroid field? Um, Yuki, I think this is your first test. Hopefully you, sub hopefully you do well. Right, let's get Bilbo on the fo focus fire. Do I have anything else? Go on, smash him up. There we go. Come on. Nice. Well done. Absolutely twatted him. Oh, there's more. 
Right, Yuki. Keep dodging the rocks. Oh, good dodge. There we go. Good start. Right, do we have focus fire back on Otto? We do. Right, smash him up. Let's go. Oh, kill one of them at least. There we go. Oh, we're taking damage. Oh, God, there's holes in our ship. Oh, dear. That right, should be okay, though. Oh, our shields are getting annihilated. Hands. Back to the position. Come on, quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, no. What's that? Oh, there's more. All right, replenish shields. Let's see how this works. Oh, it takes time to replenish? Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, defense. All right, there's only two left. Yeah, I think putting Bilbo on the front cannon is the way to go. Seems to be working a bit better. We're just going to have to move our guns around a little bit. So therefore, uh... So therefore, like, Bilbo will be able to do some damage. And also, Hans will be able to keep us alive. <laughs> 